Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to add a weather calendar to your Microsoft Outlook client. Uh, we're going to show you a couple different ones you could use. They're both external sites that you can import right into your client here. So the first one is from this weatherincalendar.com website. So you just need to put in your location, uh, let it find it, choose Celsius or Fahrenheit. Then if you just want the current temperature or if you want the low and the high, you could pick that. And then you could click on add to your calendar open pick an app and you could have it pick Outlook and import it that way or if that doesn't work you could copy the link here go to your Outlook decide where you want it so let's say I want to put it under my calendars right click on it add a calendar from internet paste it in say OK say yes to this prompt here and then you'll have your calendar here starting on the current date that you imported it, it goes for about two weeks You just kind of click on it to get a little more information. Just like that, just go through the days. You know, it doesn't give you that much, just whatever you click on, you know, the current highs and lows. And then if you want to overlay them, so you don't want two different calendars, you could right click on it, choose overlay, and then you have it overlaid on top of your other calendar here. So you have them both that way. Okay, so let's get rid of that one here. All right, so now let's go back to the next one, which is from Mediomatics.com. So put in your location here. Then we'll choose Fahrenheit, generate, copy link, go back to Outlook. Same process here from Internet. Say yes. So similar information for this one too. And then if you want to overlay it, you got it like that. Okay, so that's how those work. Um, if you do it in the web client, sometimes you get uh, a little more information, like you know, you click on a day and then it'll give you a link to you know go to that site and get more information. But it looks like in the Outlook client, you just kind of give get what you get here. So I'll put a link in the description for uh, both these sites here, and you could try them out and see how it works for you. Alright, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.